Hey everyone, welcome back. So now we are going to do question number three. And the question says 300 degrees is equal to what radian measure? So we need to use a technique called dimensional analysis in this problem. And dimensional analysis is basically the process of taking one unit and converting it to another. So in order to do that, we first start with what the question gives us. And in this case, it gives us 300, oops, sorry, 300 degrees. And it asks us to convert to radians. So what we need to do is we need to take this 300 degrees and multiply it by something called a conversion factor. The conversion factor is what allows you to go from one unit of measure to another. So in this case, we need to go from degrees to radians. So what is the relationship about those two that we know? Well, I know that 180 degrees is equal to pi. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put my 180 degrees down here, and I'm going to put my pi up here on top. So what I want to be careful of when doing these problems is I want to make sure that I always put my uh, same units. So in this case, I want to put degrees across from each other. And that's because I want those units to cancel out. So I want this degree to be able to cancel with this degree. And if you remember, that's possible from cross canceling, just as when you multiply other fractions. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just multiply straight across and I'm going to get 300 pi over 180. And now all I'm going to do is just simplify this fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and take a factor of 10 out from both. Then I'm going to have 30 pi over 18. Now I'll go ahead and take a factor of 3 out and I'll get 10 pi over 6. Then I'll take a factor of 2 out and I'll be left with 5 pi over 3. And this here is going to be our final answer. So let's go ahead and check and sure enough it is letter B. So just a couple more things to note. You can use other conversion factors. You could have also used 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi. You can use whatever you want as long as it's a true statement that relates the two units that you're dealing with. One other thing I wanted to talk about is conceptually why this works. So why can you take 300 degrees and multiply it by pi over 180 to get your answer? You can do that because this, since 180 degrees is equal to pi, that is essentially just equal to 1. So you're basically just starting with this 300 degrees and multiplying it by 1, but not just 1. You're multiplying it by pi over 180 degrees to convert it to radians. So let me just write, so that is called your conversion factor. There we go. And this whole process is called, I'll write that in blue, oops, or black, <laughs> dimensional analysis. Okay, so let me give you just one more example going the opposite way to make sure you've got this. So let's say I give you, let's just say 3 pi, and I want you to convert that to degrees. So again, the first thing you would do is you would start with what I gave you, which is 3 pi over 1 and you would want to multiply that by your conversion factor. So in this case, that's going to be pi and 180 degrees. And again, it's important to remember to put the pi's across from each other so that you can cancel them out. So now I'm just going to multiply straight across and I'm going to get 180 times three, which is going to be 540. So this is going to be equal to 540 degrees. So hopefully that was helpful. If you need additional practice, I would recommend looking up um, dimensional analysis, but that should be pretty good for now. So if you have any more questions, just feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. All right, thanks for watching.